Blood Type O, the ancient survivor. Let's start with Type O. You know those people who seem to dodge infections, who never get the worst version of whatever's going around? That might not be luck, that might be Type O. Here's what's happening at the cellular level. Type O blood has no A or B antigens on red blood cells, which means your immune system is constantly on guard, producing both anti-A and anti-B antibodies. It's like having security at every door. Studies show that type O individuals have lower overall infection risk compared to other blood types. They're also far less likely to develop severe malaria because the parasites can't grip onto their red cells as easily. In ancient times, this was the difference between life and death. But here's the modern twist. That same biology that fought off ancient diseases, it also means your blood clots less aggressively. Type O people have lower levels of something called von Willebrand factor, A, key clotting protein. In the Ice Age, that was fine. Minor cuts weren't the real threat. Today, it means you're more prone to bleeding issues and peptic ulcers. So, no, you're not fragile. Your biology just hasn't updated its software since humanity lived in caves. And there's more. Type O has a hidden edge when it comes to endurance. Studies of recreational runners found that Type O individuals performed better in 10K races, even after adjusting for age and training. Scientists aren't entirely sure why but your body might be wired for the long hunt. That was useful 50,000 years ago when you had to chase down prey for hours. In 2025, it just makes you weirdly good at marathons. But that same trait comes with a strange irony. Blood type A, the clotting advantage. If you've got type A blood, your body runs a different algorithm. You have A antigens on your red cells and anti-B antibodies circulating in your plasma. Here's the hidden advantage. Type A blood tends to have higher levels of clotting factors, that means your blood forms clots faster and more efficiently than type O. In the ancient world, if you got injured, you were more likely to stop bleeding before it became fatal. But evolution doesn't give gifts without a price. That same clotting advantage? It also means you're at higher risk for dangerous blood clots, heart attacks, and strokes. The body that saved you from bleeding out in 10,000 BC might clog your arteries in a sedentary modern life. And there's another twist. People with type A blood are more susceptible to stomach cancer likely because they're more prone to Helicobacter pylori infections. That's the bacteria that causes ulcers and can lead to cancer over time. So, if you're type A, your biology is playing defense against bleeding. But offense against infection isn't as strong. It's a different survival strategy, not better or worse. Just different. And if that sounds like a lot to manage, wait until you hear about type B. Blood type B, the mysterious middle ground. Type B is the wild card. It's rarer than O and A in most populations, but common in Central Asia, where it may have evolved as humans adapted to new environments and diets. Like type A, you've got higher clotting factors than type O. That means better protection against bleeding, but also a two to three times higher risk of dangerous blood clots. Deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolism. Your blood doesn't mess around, but here's where type B gets weird. Large studies found that type B individuals have a higher rate of kidney stones compared to type O. Scientists don't fully understand why, but the pattern is consistent across populations. So, your biology saved you from bleeding out in ancient battles, but now it's giving you kidney stones at yoga retreats. Evolution is messy like that, and then there's the rarest type of all. Blood type AB, the universal receiver. Type AB is the newest blood type in human history. It only exists because type A and type B populations mixed, and it comes with a massive practical advantage. If you're AB positive, you're the universal recipient. In an emergency, you can receive blood from anyone. O, A, B, AB. Your body accepts them all because you have both A and B antigens and no antibodies to reject either. That's a huge survival edge in a medical crisis, but there's a cost. Type AB has the highest risk of stroke among all blood types. Some studies also show higher rates of memory problems later in life, though the data is still emerging. It's like your immune system made a peace treaty, but your cardiovascular system is paying the price. So, AB isn't better or worse. It's just optimized for a different kind of survival. Your blood type is a footnote, not a destiny. Yes, type O has lower clot risk and better malaria. Resistance. Yes. Type A has higher clotting power but more stomach issues. Yes, AB can receive any blood but has higher stroke risk. But here's the truth that matters more. Your lifestyle, your sleep, your stress, your movement, your diet affects your health a thousand times more than your blood type ever will. The differences we've talked about today, 
They're real, but they're small. Population level patterns, not personal prophecies. So don't obsess over your type, but do know it. Keep it in your medical ID. Share it with your doctor. And if you're able, donate. Because here's the real hidden advantage. Whether you're O negative saving lives as a universal donor, or AB with the rarest plasma. Your blood type isn't just about you. It's about what you can give back. Strip away the letters, and what's left is simple. Every blood type is a compromise. A trade-off between clotting and bleeding, between fighting infection and avoiding. Autoimmunity. Between ancient survival and modern disease. Your body carries those ancient decisions in every red cell. So if you've ever felt different, maybe that difference is just evolution, saying you're built to survive. We explain a lot around here. Subscribe so you don't miss what your genes will reveal next.